guys, Daisy here. Welcome back to part 7 of The Sims 3 World Adventures. So we are staring at the Dragon Cave, which we are going to explore, try to explore today. So she is on her phone, which is not very productive. <laughs> We're standing in front of a really, really cool secret door and you're just browsing you know your your phone that's that's great <laughs> please inspect that door because i am so excited i'm itching to get into this tomb whoa tons of smoke Ooh, so 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 mm. creepy mm -hmm. of course we can see what's on the other side but she can't see so that's all that matters uh -huh. huh? elia has gained entry Ooh, that looks so awesome so, I do remember there being stairs right here, so we're going to go down those. So yeah, I can't really remember this tomb all that well. I remember some stuff, but not everything. Come on, Natalia. And you want to fully explore tomb. We will try to do that. And we'll collect those coins if we can. Can we? I'll see if she can. <laughs> I mean, she's walking. Can she do it? Or you just, no, no. Yeah, what was I thinking? What was I thinking? <laughs> okay, come on, pull this once and then we can go in behind there. And I'm just gonna scan the walls just to see if there are any secret doors. Nothing on this side of things it looks like. Then, hmm, let's see. You can go collect these coins now. And there probably is a secret door right where that little mat is. Yes, so you can inspect that as well. Um, so let's see what else we have. We have that door, obviously. We'll, we'll save that door for last. We'll just do these first. And it looks like there's some stuff on the earth. Uh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I wish I could talk. Wouldn't it be so nice if I could talk? Like, I just want that more than anything, just to be able to not trip over my words. Okay, so you can collect those coins to Missy. You're doing great. You're doing great, sweetie. You're doing great. Collect those. Yes, please don't trip. <laughs> oh my gosh, she trips over everything. She trips over her own two feet. I, I relate to her on like so many levels. Okay, so please inspect that too. I'm not sure, I can't remember how long this tomb is, if it takes a while. I feel like it takes a while to do this one. And we have the Chinese symbol of the Lost Army. That's pretty cool. I kind of want to keep on to that um, as like a display decoration in our house eventually. We have a very small apartment though, so we won't be able to really decorate until we get a bigger place. Maybe we'll move in with Ummar, maybe? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how things go. We'll see. <laughs> I don't want to rush anything, you know? She still has yet to tell Ummar that she is involved in the black market, and mm. maybe he'll never know. Maybe we'll never tell him. Maybe he'll hate us and break up with us instantly once he finds her, and... I don't know, because, oh wow, our vacation is over in one day. Where the hell did the time go? I swear, we just arrived, and already we're going home soon. <laughs> so I'm very glad we did get that reward point, or reward, um, mm, reward, reward, right? <laughs> I'm glad that we got that reward that allowed us to stay in China for a longer time so next time when we come back i think we can probably stay for like five days or something okay so you can inspect that she's getting sleepy so we'll probably end up sleeping in this tomb anyway there is tons of space in this tomb though so we can definitely put our tent down somewhere oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god heart attack holy crap fear i don't blame you imagine just sticking your hand in the ground in an underground tomb like this that no one has ever been in. I mean, ugh, all the bugs, the snakes, I cannot deal with that. <laughs> I'm not an outdoors person. Like, I appreciate the outdoors. I like looking at scenery. I like taking photos. I love photography and walking and animals, you know? I'm all about that life. I'm vegan. I'm all that kind of stuff, you know? I love animals. I love nature, right? But I but I hate bugs. I hate bugs. I despise snakes. I hate that stuff. <laughs> so I would suck at all of that, to be honest. 
Yes, I would not make a good explorer. Yeah, I think we got pretty much everything. I don't like missing stuff, and I feel like it's bound to happen where I'm just going to miss, like, a secret door or something. Okay, what do we have behind here? Just a staircase. Do we have any secret doors? Probably not. Just use the stairs, please. Okay, what do we have down here? This is a good spot to actually put our tent. We have tons of uh, fl blah, 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 a floor space. <laughs> and I am recording this part uh, directly after the last part. And in the last part, I did explain how I have not slept for 24 hours. I've been up for a long time. I've My sleep schedule is horrible. <laughs> so I do apologize if I stumble over my words more than per usual. Anyways, I'm going to let her go to sleep and I'll pick up once she is awake. So Alia should be getting out of the tent any moment. She got her well-rested mood lit, which I love for my sims to have. It drives me crazy when my sims don't get that mood lit, so I'm, I'm quite proud right now. <laughs> and she wants to escape from a tomb, so... Yes, tombs can be pretty dark and scary, and I think she has had enough of it. I am curious to use this um, escape dust that we had. Is it going to work now that we're in a tomb? It does not seem like it. And I think we're missing it from our inventory, so I guess that's fine. I did not know what I really did. So we got a little bit of money from those money bags, 113 simoleons. And we're going to go through this door to you know, to complete this part of the tomb at least. So we'll inspect that. She's thinking about clowns. <laughs> I think she's scared of everything. Don't worry, Aaliyah. I doubt there's a clown hiding down here in the tombs. Unless it's it. Which, that is a strong possibility. <laughs> because, yeah, that was a creepy clown and... That clown was hiding away in the sewers. There could be a clown that is hiding away in the tombs. It's probably not a clown, though. Probably a mummy, but but not a clown. There, there's nothing to worry about, right? <laughs> okay, so let's see. Yes, I do remember the mummy cases. The the, mum, the mummy cases. <laughs> the sarcophagi. Sarcophagi. <laughs> the sarcophaguses. <laughs> Okay, so we'll go explore those in a moment. I was really, really afraid of the mummies when I first uh, played this expansion pack. And when I first did my Let's Play 12 hours, that's crazy. We only have 12 hours left to go. Um, but I would, I'd like to think now that I've dealt with so many mummies in that, in that Let's Play that I'm brave and we're going to look inside and hopefully not die. <laughs> Okay, we're going to clear that as well. We're going to clear everything and explore everything as much as what we can. Hopefully she'll find another money bag. I would be, I, I'd be, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, she is seeing stars, that is horrible. Um, yeah, that, that is not a good, uh, sarcophagus at all. <laughs> Hopefully this one is better. Obviously, whatever was in that sarcophagus does not want us to explore further. Um, I am kind of curious though. I kind of want to explore it again just to see if we actually might find something. Okay, so we found more dried food, which is actually fine. I mean, it is saving us money in the, in the long run of things, I guess. And I believe too in China, I think it should be one of our next missions is to go and try to find Pangu's axe, I believe. Oh my god, yeah, the same thing happened to her. <laughs> okay, I guess that sarcophagus is just cursed, so we'll stay away from that. Um, we'll work on this one over here. We found a money bag! Yay, I love money bags. And then we'll deal with these things here. But yeah, once we find that Pangu's axe, it will make clearing all of this rumble, rumble, rubble rubble <laughs> a lot easier 
and we can clear boulders which we will start to encounter and we can only get that axe i believe in china which is why it's kind of important to go to china first if you really want that axe and that axe is a lifesaver so yeah that is the goal and i was kind of debating on whether or not if i want to maybe go to france or um egypt like on our next trip but i think i might want to stay with china at least for a while you know until maybe i'm bored of it or whatever and then we can switch it up because as of now i'm actually really really excited to be here i don't really want to leave and um deal with another place to go i wonder can you go around that can you squeeze in through yes you can good girl <laughs> okay you can look inside that as well and it also depends too if we're leaving an adventure here like halfway done i want to come back to do it i don't want to leave anything like half done so i imagine we'll probably come back to china anyways regardless if we do complete this or not i mean we are kind of going against the clock we only have a couple more hours basically until we're like literally kicked out of china so i'm not sure if we'll be able to do this to find that a relic or whatever we're looking for. Uh, she wants to find some ancient coins, which she will do, but I don't want to get rid of those wishes. Okay, let's see. Then she can go explore, go through this door here. I'm, I'm nervous because I want to get this um, quest done, <laughs> but I'm having a feeling we're just not going to make it at all. So yeah, we'll probably be coming back to China. Which is fine with me, like I said, because I actually really do like it. Sorry, Amar. <laughs> we can make it with you when we, like, get back home, but not right now. Okay, she found ancient coins. That is good. Um, inspect that first, please. I like to save the doors kind of for last. I like to make sure we get everything, like, the secret doors, the the little holes in the walls and everything like that first okay we have more coins and can we get this yes we can cool a broken relic so interesting and nothing really on the walls okay go through this big door that looks super super grand okay we're doing pretty well oh we can report in okay so deep within the dragon cave Aaliyah has a vision oh i see fire um she has a vision of a mummy and appears to be battling an adventurer return to a pie and describe the vision perhaps he can uh, decipher its meaning um so i wonder if that means we can't explore i i think with this dragon cave i think we have to come back again in order to do it so I think he's going to give us a key. Yeah, because I think we can't get through this door, if I remember correctly. Um, so he's probably going to give us a key or something in order to finish this tomb, which kind of sucks. I really wanted to fully uh, explore this tomb, but I don't think we can. <laughs> and I really want to give past this fire because I really want that money bag. I mean, we should be able to get across. Um, yeah, I, I'm just I'm just worried about Aaliyah because she is such a coward. I don't want her to panic. <laughs> okay, so come here, Aaliyah. Try to just come over this way. Don't like walk into the fire, okay? <laughs> Surely Sims aren't dumb enough to just walk into the fire, right? I mean that never happens with the Sims, right? <laughs> okay, let's push this far. Okay, good job and you can stand on that i'm hoping we'll have enough time to actually report into that dude but we shall see i have i have my doubts um and we can open up the treasure chest anything else in here okay nothing else so at least we did explore this tomb to the best of our ability we did i'm pretty sure we did at least um, we only have that one door to explore that is currently locked. I guess those things got disarmed once we stood on that little, um, thingy. That, yeah, you know, that, that, that thingy. <laughs> that floor switch, I guess. It, it does have a name, I suppose. Um, she wants to find a hidden door. I mean, you could, but I don't think we can <laughs> anymore. Um, so yeah, at least we only have that door really to do once we come back to China. 
So yeah, I think he's going to give us like a key and hopefully that will open up the door. Run, girl, run. Oh my god, one hour. We're seriously up against the clock. I don't think we're going to make it. We are going to try, but oh my god, he's right there. You have like 10 minutes, girl. Come on, tell him. Give him, <laughs> give him what he wants. Okay, yes, I fear this is worse than I thought it would be. A prophecy foretold of a foreigner who would come to fix the dragon cave. You just might be that person. You will need a meditation statue but that requires two pieces of platinum. Bring them to me. Okay, so we have to go on a scavenger, a scavenger hunt, essentially. So I guess we'll do that once we come back. We'll go on a little hunt for platinum to build this uh, meditation statue. Good news though, we got to visa level never blah, 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 blah. <laughs> We got to visa level number one. There we go. Okay, so the trip is over and I'll be picking up once we get back into El Mendina. So Aaliyah has returned home to Al Mandina after her trip to Shang Sima, China, and she has this moodlet that will last for two days. Since freshly returned from an adventure abroad, feel relaxed, but also tired and a bit winded. They need a bit of a break before venturing out of their country again. And as you can see by the lack of nothing happening on the screen, um, I am encountering freezing. So you guys don't know, but my game crashed as soon as I return home to Al Mandina. But as you can see, my game, you know, it runs nicely. You know, like I can zoom in nice. Like I'm not really getting lag with this town. Uh, I never encountered freezing or lag really so far from playing in this town. But for some reason, as soon as I returned home, Within a few seconds, it does this, basically, and it can freeze for, like, a long time. So I've been trying to deal with this for, like, the last, like, 30 minutes, probably. <laughs> so I'm a little bit worried. Um, I'm trying to think of a plan B, because obviously if it's going to keep this up, it's completely unplayable. Um, but I don't want to overreact and do anything rash until, because this could fix itself, I don't know. I've never encountered this before, so... I'm not really sure what's going on, but obviously this won't cut it. <laughs> so I've been thinking if for some reason it's going to lag, not, not, not even lag, but if it's going to freeze like this, for the story, I'm going to say that since Elias now knows what, oh god, <laughs> what Aaliyah is kind of all about, that he has suspicions that she is involved with the black market, even though he doesn't have proof. Maybe she feels like she has to go undercover. Maybe the organization, the black market, wants her to escape town, even though she just came back. Maybe they want her to go to, like, Monte, like, like to Monte Vista, like an, like an Italian town or somewhere else. Um, and the European part of the world or, or wherever, right? Somewhere just to kind of hide out until this dies down, until she is safe. So that would be plan B, I would assume. If for some reason we can't get this to work, we might have to switch locations. Um, but I will try to, you know, play around with this and see if it can work because I do love this town and I really don't want to move. So, so I don't know. <laughs> Yay, it's working! So I did not do anything that different, I just uh, closed out of my game, opened it up again, and for some reason this time it, it seems to be working. I did play test it a little bit and I have not encountered any freezing, so I'm pretty happy. Um, so we do have this little kit. I am getting a little bit annoyed, not going to lie, by the, uh, the university mascot. <laughs> so we pretty much made our money back from selling those money bags, so that's good. You can clean up your dish as well. Um, because this mascot comes around all the time, like no joke, you can probably sleep for a little bit. We have a party going on tonight, so I want to be, I want to be prepared for that. <laughs> and let's see. Um, I did put down a lot that I would like to go out to on a date, but I've been looking at these sims, and do you see how far these sims have to run, basically, over to this side of the world? Like, this would take them 24 sim hours. Yes. <laughs> I mean, look how far they have to go. It's all the way over here. I put down the boardwalk, and I did customize it. Uh, just for a few more fun things to do there. 
and I thought that would be a really cute place for her and Amar to go. I mean, she's back from her trip. I thought it would be cute to ask him out on a date to come here and go on the roller coaster, take some pictures, go on the carousel, that kind of stuff. But geez, they would take forever. Amar would die. <laughs> he would die. Like, we would be taking him into the desert. Like, seriously, we, ha we have a camp. But yeah, no, I, I can't see that working. And unfortunately, on that side of the, on that side of the town, that is where the consignment uh, shop is. So yeah, <laughs> um, that's going to be a pain to go there. And we're going to put down our items that we got from China. We got that uh, training board and we got like 13 uh, school little kits here. That's why I'm getting really annoyed by the mascot <laughs> because the mascot has been showing up like every single day and I don't understand why they must be really desperate for people to apply for university because he's being a little bit pushy about it. Um, so yeah, we do have a few jewels which would have been cool to sell at the consignment store but Considering the consignment store is like a hundred years away, a hundred light years away from here, I think we're just going to keep doing our adventures and just build it up. <laughs> Basically, I don't want to go there unnecessarily. So yeah, we'll wait on that. We do have the party tonight, but it is also a day we have off of work. We don't work um, Wednesdays or Thursdays at the criminal location. So I kind of want to go to the gym. I want to be a little bit productive and actually work on working out. We do have um, a weight lifting bench thing here, but you know, I'd like to go there, hop on a treadmill, actually enjoy the gym atmosphere, get out of the house. I don't want to, I don't want to be stuck in the house all the time. <laughs> so we'll go there for a bit. And maybe tonight we'll invite Almar out. Like I said, I want to go over to the boardwalk venue but i can't see that happening with how far away that freaking place is i don't want to go through the desert on a horse with no name i really don't i can't handle that <laughs> so here we are at the gym we can at least go on the treadmill work out for a bit work on that skill which will probably help with world adventures anyway when we are exploring tombs at least this way we can be super athletic this little gym is really cute we have some people oh what what? We have our boyfriend right next to us. Oh my god, that is so cute. Oh my god, that is adorable. I love the fact that we just click and Aaliyah knew exactly where to find him. <laughs> that is hilarious. I, I had no idea he was here. I didn't. I was planning to invite him out tonight, maybe getting a skill or going to the party, something like that. I was not really planning to just bump into him. That is so cute. And he is probably surprised and, and happy to see us back home. Um, I wonder if he really, really missed us. I mean, she missed him. She's having wishes to watch the stars and everything with him. He wants to hang out. So yeah, we might as well have a little date. We can work out on this date. Yes, who does not love a little gym date, right? I kind of wanted to go to the party, but I mean, I was not really expecting to find our boyfriend here. And considering we just got home, I mean, it's kind of cute that we're working out together, training together. It's really, really, really adorable. You want to go to the art gallery, but we don't have the art gallery close by close by so I'm not going to worry about that or this one either I mean I'm sure you'll have friends but I don't want to focus on that right now did not realize we have two bistros we'll go here afterwards maybe we'll actually eat outside with our dates 75 simoleons but yeah it would be nice to have a night with our boyfriend I mean, we have been gone for a long time, and of course, Aaliyah is not going to tell him what she has been doing. He is obviously going to ask her, like, all about her adventures, what she has been up to. Um, you know, he wants to see pictures of scenery and all of that. 
but she's going to not really talk about the details. She's basically telling him all she did when she traveled was lounge at a beach. Like, that's all she did. She was just being a lazy little tourist. <laughs> like, that's how she's describing it. So he has no idea that she was invading tombs and stealing treasures, getting relics and all of that. Oh my god. Oh my god, you guys. Oh my god. Ah, ah. <laughs> Elias is here. That is insane. Oh my god, he totally sees us, especially with our boyfriend. Uh, he is totally keeping an eye on Aaliyah. Like, he's waiting for her to mess up or something, so that way he can actually <laughs> prosecute her and um, have some proof about that. That That is insane. That is insane. We have the king here, but oh my god, that is insane. Uh, I imagine Aaliyah is super duper nervous. <laughs> Maybe that's why she wants to eat outside because she knows um, Elias was eating inside the bistro, so now she wants to go outside. She does not want to stay anywhere near him. <laughs> and yeah, I bet she is pretty nervous. You got angel food cake, right? Yes, she did. That's good. And you got sushi. You're actually eating with us? That is so adorable of you. I never have my sims eat at the same table. I mean, I hope you eat with us. Thank you. <laughs> he was worrying me for a moment. He was just standing there. Um, but yeah, that's insane that Elias came by. Of all the places where he could have went, he came by here. So I think he's been going around our apartment when we weren't home, seeing when we were going to come back. Like, I think he was snooping quite a bit. And like I said, he has not found enough proof to really, like, get us in trouble yet. But I bet she is pretty freaking nervous about that, especially if Amar were to find out especially in this kind of manner with Elias telling him she would not be happy so I don't know now the more I'm thinking about it it would make sense for her to like go to Monte Vista or somewhere else um just to go there for even like a little bit I could theoretically oh he's gonna give us flowers that's so cute you're, you're perfect <laughs> but I could theoretically um put in the Enra's Traveler mod and just move her over there. That way she won't lose her relationships here, maybe, and I don't know. That is a possibility. Let me know if you think that's a good idea or not, but I do want her to maybe stay in this town, so I'm, I'm kind of unsure about that. But yeah, all I know is that she definitely has to try to remain a little bit on the down low. Look at him just kissing her. Obviously, he missed her a lot, right? I mean, he can't keep his hands off her, and he seems like a pretty happy little camper <laughs> to finally get his girl back. Um, we're going to invite him over, though, to see if he wants to come over, over to our place. Hopefully, we can get away from Elias. You're giving us flowers. <laughs> I asked you to come over, and you're just giving us more flowers. Yeah, he's being super duper affectionate, isn't he? I mean, I don't think he's flirty. Aaliyah is not flirty. <laughs> she has no romantic traits yet. These two definitely seem to have chemistry, so I really, really, really dig that. We are taking his car over to her place. It probably would be a better, better idea to go over to his place, but I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> But yeah, we're going over to our place tonight, and I'm kind of tempted as well to maybe play off camera one sim day. That way we can go traveling in the next part. But I might want to hang around town and do some other stuff, work on our skills, maybe go to work again. Um, I don't know. We'll kind of play that by ear, I suppose. So he's over at our place, and I do want to ask him to spend the night. I'm so happy though that we bumped into each other at the um, at the gym. I just love that. <laughs> Couple goals. We know where every where e where um where each other is. Does that make sense? No, I don't. I don't think that makes sense. <laughs> we know where. Never mind. Never mind. I'm tired. Never mind. <laughs> so we're gonna ask him to spend the night. Um, yeah, I would like to go traveling again, but I might want to take. Just a moment's rest. Like I said before, we're in no rush to go through uh, world adventure stuff. I just want to enjoy this let's play. So they had a great day, which, which, which is great. 
Yes. <laughs> I love it. Oh, <laughs> damn, he really, really missed her, didn't he? Jeez, he wasted no time <laughs> getting his hands on her. Damn. Damn, boy. <laughs> So these guys are going to who? Um, he missed her. She missed him. She had him on her mind, pretty much the entire time during her trip. And uh, I am sure, by the looks of things, he realized during her absence that he has fallen in love with her. I think he definitely loves this girl. And they're going to who and have a little bit of fun, of course. <laughs> Yeah, I think they're a pretty cute couple, and I kind of like that we met Amar at a really unstable time in Elia's life. Like, she had no idea that she would fall in love this quickly or, um, yeah, at this time in her life, to be honest. She had no idea. Kind of like what they say, love happens when you least, when you least expect it. That's kind of what happened to Elia. Like, this is the worst time for her to have a relationship. It really is. <laughs> but um, I love that you want to tell him a ghost story. Yeah, that's what I like to do after sex. Just, you know, exchange some ghost stories. That's really nice. But yeah, she's going to go use the washroom. I would have loved if he actually would have slept in the bed with us, but he wants to dance. You're going to be super tired uh, tomorrow, Amar. You're going to be exhausted with all of that dancing. <laughs> I guess we're going to go to bed, though. If Amar wants to dance, he can dance. He seems really happy after that woohoo, right? <laughs> he just wants to dance the night away. It was it was such a good boohoo. <laughs> okay, he is actually going to bed. That's nice of you. You're actually a good boy, Amar. I approve of you. <laughs> so I will be ending this part here. I love you all so very much. I'll be talking to you guys in the next part. Bye.